Hello everybody and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today it is all about purple. So if you like purple, you're going to love this journal. So it was a book that I found. I love the color. Purple is my favorite color. And it's O oh, Fraboyous Joy, which means delightful, joyous. So I thought, well, what a perfect thing to have on the cover of a purple journal. So on the front we just have it tied with a seam binding. I had this purple feather that I had made into a dangle charm which I did do a video on how I made these and I thought well it goes perfect with this. There is a little silk flower here that I got from Milana, thank you, and these flowers here as well. So I just put a little bit of distress, purple distress ink on the edge of the flower just to blend it in a little bit more. There is a purple and gold charm which just hooks on with one of these things. So let's set that aside just so it's not dangling. On the edge I Put just some purple beads on the strings just for something a little bit different. I've got some purplish colored lace on the binding which I colored with distress inks. I've got some fluffies on the edges just some eyelash trim and the back is just the plain mauve color. So let's open this up and this just comes right off. So there is, there is the inside. It's the first time I've ever put eyelash trim on the edge and I kind of like it. It just gives that really fluffy feeling. So. Let's go inside. So a lot of the pages in here are from Nevermore Creation 17. Um, her very berry or something like that. It's, it's her um, berry kit. So, And it has a lot of purples and blues and the berry colors. So that's kind of nice. So the inside of the back and front covers I just collaged a whole bunch of different papers and the butterfly is a piece of a napkin which I decoupaged on. I just used some fabric um, on the spine just to give it some strength. So this is from a different one of Lindsay's kits but I was on her design team for a couple of years so I'm on the process of trying to use up a bunch of papers that I've had printed and whatnot so and here is just a pocket envelope flip thing I left room so it actually flips up twice so these were great big long envelopes so and just a card in here this is from one of my digital kits And inside these pockets are postcards which I've distressed with one of the purple um, distress inks. So that goes in there. And then in this pocket as well, there is a, another postcard. But I left this white, well it's, it's kind of a cream color, but it'll be great for journaling. So that just folds up and then it ties. Got my business card in there. All the, hand, all the stitching in here is hand done, so I've stitched the... Um, 
eyelash trim onto the sides. This is from one of my kids. I did a bunch of stenciling and whatnot. One from Lindsay's kit. So. This was just a, a envelope that I had and there will be something in there. Oh, just a piece of one of the pages. Just for some journaling space. Put the paper clip with that so I don't lose it. Variety of papers and one another piece of the um, eyelash trim. I put a little bit of reinforcing along there before I stitched it on. One of the pages from that Berry kit from Nevermore. This is from her light kit. Light the way or something like that it's called. So here is just a envelope. Nothing in it though. Sticks in there. This was a envelope with the journaling card inside. I found that um, just distressing things even though they weren't really purple like this one had a little purple on her dress but just by putting the purple distressing ink just gave it enough so that it blended in but there's lots of other colors in this journal as well center I just tied with a bow And here is a big pocket, and I just put a little bow there. There is this tag here, backed with my tea dyed doily paper, and then a large tag. And again, these are all hand stitched. I do love my hand stitching. I like that page. But tried to get as much purple in as I could, but I didn't want to overdo it with the purple either. So this eyelash trim is a little bit different colors. But mixed in with the purple, I thought it looked really, really nice. Here you can see the back side of the zigzag stitch that I stitched the eyelash trim on with. But still lots of room to make it your own. Or just start writing in it. And I'll leave a link to um, Nevermore Creations in the description box. So just a little purple flower going on the edge. It's from that Tim Holtz dye. I like those. See, this was one. It didn't really have any purple, but just a little bit of purple around the edge. I thought it looked good. This is Dreams Etc., I believe. I like how it turned out, so if you like purple, you will like this here journal. Lots of room to write in it and whatnot. Here's another one of those big pockets and another big tag. these envelopes. They're just kind of a collage of printed stuff on them. And inside is just a large journaling card. So we're getting close to the back and here's another one of those things in the pocket. Here's just a little journaling card just to 
and then it opens up like the other one opens up the two times and inside those two are postcards and this one just has that in there Folds back up, lots of room for writing on the inside of that or putting pictures, etc. And there's the back, the same thing, and I've got my cloth sticker there from the hands of Caroline's Craft Tree. So that is the Bab Joyous journal. I hope you like it. It will be in the shop so you can head on over there and uh, check it out and yeah we will see you again soon. Bye!